Hey everyone and welcome back to Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. On this video, we're doing the quest, Tides of War and Worry. That can be picked up at the community notice board in under Junon. So, we're heading back to the Junon region. And here is under Junon, let's fast travel. What the hell is Rhonda gonna do about all this? She's gonna take the fight to Shinra, that's what! And when she does, we join her! We're people of the sea! Rough waters don't scare us! If Shinra thinks we'll take this lion down, they got another thing coming. Oh, they want Rhonda to fight Shinra. Interesting. Thanks to that Lodbrot guy and his little speech. The town's so riled up, I can't get a moment's peace. What the hell is Rhonda gonna do? You know. That Shinra Resistance Committee, or whatever, came here to try and recruit once. Shoot them away as quick as I could. Might have just sent them straight into the powder cake that is the crow's nest, though. Thanks to that Lodbrok guy and his little speech. Interesting. Things are heating up here. Are they gonna fight Shinra? Are they gonna join Wutai? Maybe. Alright, other than the people outside Little though, not much seems, seems to have changed here. Alright, so here's our community notice board. Tides of War and Worry. Client is Priscilla, location under Junon, Dolphin Cove. Grown-ups have been talking about war with Wutai a lot lately, and it's really getting my friends down. I want to try and take their minds off it all. Do something fun, but I'm not sure what. If anyone has ideas, I'm all ears. Alright, we'll take the job. Priscilla and the kids need to be cheered up a bit. War is depressing. So, Priscilla's in her usual spot down here. With all of the other kids, it looks like. So, is there really gonna be another war? I don't know, but my dad says it won't ever come to that. What do you mean by that? We won't have to fight, but we'll have to pick a side. I don't want to be on any side. Oh, hey, mister. Hey, Yuffie. Hmm? You guys are looking grim. Somebody die? The grown-ups are saying there's going to be a war soon. A real bad one, too. And because we're right below Junon, everyone's worried we're going to get hit first. Don't worry. Under Junon doesn't really have any strategic value. I mean, it would get taken along with the rest of the city. But so long as you don't piss off the occupying forces, they probably wouldn't beat the crap out of you. Mm. Well, I hope that doesn't happen, because it sounds horrible. <laughs> Um, more importantly, how long has it been since we last saw each other? We should make the most of this lucky little reunion. That'd be great. But what should we do? Hmm. Ah, I've got it! Adorable dolphin friend and this guy are gonna put on the most spectacular show ever! Who's ready for a good time? Yay! <laughs> dolphin Show! Avoid the cove's obstacles while striking the floating beach balls to get Mr. Dolphin excited and increase his swimming speed. Cross the finish line in record time to impress the children. Left stick is steer and left stick plus R2 performs sharp turns like before. So rank 1 is 2 minutes for an elixir, rank 2 is a minute and 48 seconds for a cosmotite ore, and if you get under a minute and 40 seconds, you'll get rank 3 for 3 dark matter. I still don't know what dark matter does. Begin the dolphin show, yes. You're gonna do great. And here we go. Get those beach balls.
And obviously don't hit the buoys. Doing good so far getting these beach balls. Good, good. I'll let you go around that. You're amazing. Ah, I missed those though. Get these. Oh, totally missed those. Picking up speed now. Oh, look out for this. Oh, I totally missed those. Uh-oh. Oh, ah, no! Dang it! That's okay. We should still be okay. One crash we can deal with. Two would be devastating. But we made it. Minute and 38 seconds. Not too shabby. All right, we got that star rank. And obviously each section we got a new high score because it's the first time we've done it. That was amazing. You and Mr. Dolphin made a great team out there. That was so cool. I know, right? It was the best show ever. You know, all we really need is a couple of super duper powerful orbs. We give Shinra and Sephiroth what's coming to them, and then it's happily ever after. Maybe. <laughs> we hope you enjoy the show, but even if you didn't, you still gotta pay. That'll be one orb apiece, kiddos. Pony up! What? But I don't have any! What a ripoff! <laughs> Thanks a bunch, mister. You better come back and put on another show sometime, okay? Sure. <laughs> Alrighty, our quest is complete and new quests are available in the Junon region. So, something we haven't done for a little while. Let's go spend some skill points. It's been a little while. The brighter the ocean, Mako, the brighter oh, wait. your day. I totally went the wrong way. Where am I going? I need to go this way. With all the ways to cure fish, it's practically an art form. Up here. All right, so Magnata Books is over here. Hey there, looking to augment your folios? All right, so we got some uh, decent amount of uh, SP on everybody. Let's start with Cloud. He's got 25. And folio level 9 is unlocked. Which for Cloud is ATB limit. It takes 30 SP, jeez. Oh, and required party level 10, so we don't actually have this. Um, fills the limit gauge when expending ATB charges. Wait, fills it? Like, how much? That could be really good. All right, so we got 25 SP for Cloud. Let's see, we could get 5% more damage on synergy skills and abilities. We can get enhanced attack, increased damage dealt by basic attacks by 3%. I'll probably just get that. There's also enhanced limit breaks. Increase limit break damage by 5%. Because um, we want to make our way towards our level 3 limit break. The finishing touch. Evoke the power of a raging cyclone to annihilate the enemy. So either the limit break damage or just the basic damage. I, mean, I guess basic damage. Let's get basic damage. 
All right, and that unlocks the aerial onslaught, which is gonna cost 20 SP. Launch a deadly assault from above, can only be performed in midair. Classed as a weapon ability. Looks, looks cool. No idea how good it is. All right, next we have Barrett. He's got 30 SP. We could get his lifeblood cannon, which is 20 SP. Consume all ATB charges and half your HP to fire a high powered shot. Classed as a weapon ability. Uh, not sure if this is going to be good or not, but it will unlock our limit breaks, and we probably should do it. It also unlocks the synergy damage up. I don't care about that too much. Let's see if there's anything I want to get as an alternative. I definitely want the max HP, but that's over there. Uh, so yeah, let's just grab the lifeblood cannon. That better be a very powerful shot for half my HP. All right, so five more SP and we can get his level three limit break of satellite beam. Decimate the enemy with beams of light from beyond the stratosphere. Looks cool. All right, then we got Red 13 with 30 SP. He's got Vengeful Revenant, increases the vengeance gauge after being revived. That's lame. Afflicted debuff duration down by 30%. Well, that gets us closer to his limit break, so. I suppose we'll get this, unless there's something really good somewhere else. MP recovery rate is called the Wild, Tifa, and Red for attack power boost and staggered time extension on staggered foes. There's Feline Fury, Red, and Kate Sith. Charge forward with an animalic, or animalic abandon, I guess. Limit level increase. Let's get the uh, afflicted debuff duration down. And then his ability is Retaliation for 20 SP. If attacked during Vengeance Mode, perform a ferocious counterattack. Costs 2 ATB and ends Vengeance Mode. So that seems kind of lame to be honest, but if it does a ton of damage, maybe worth it. Oh, we didn't look at his level 3 limit break. That would be Wrath of the Land. Call upon the might of the planet and rend the enemy with deadly fangs. Alright, Kate Sith's got 20 SP. We could go critical hit damage up. That seems the obvious choice. But what's over here? Enhanced limit breaks. That's not bad, but I'd rather have the crit rate. And that will unlock lucky shots. Press square or X to align the reels. The ability's effect changes according to the, to the result, and it costs 2 ATB. So we can uh, control our destiny with this. Oh, and I said shots. It's lucky slots, not shots. So, we'll have to try that out at some point. Could be really good. Especially if we're good at lining up whatever we want. Uh, oh, and I never looked at his level 3 limit break. That's the Giga Magic Mog Box. That'll take 15 SP. Use the Moogle to lob a mind-bogglingly boggling big box of tricks at an enemy and find out what's inside. Alright, then we got Aerith with 20 SP. We can get MP recovery rate up. Slightly increases MP regeneration speed during battle, maybe. Or spiritual harvest increases the amount of MP absorbed with soul drain by 30%. Let's get that. Let's get that. And that will unlock transcendence for 20 SP. Focus your magical energy to unleash non-elemental magic attacks. Has various effects while charging, such as increasing magic attack. And is classed as a weapon ability. And her level 3 limit break is Rising Fury, fills the other party members limit break gauges. That could be amazing. That could be incredible. So we definitely want to get that soon. Alright, then Yuffie's got 25 SP. So we can get her ability Storm's Fury. An incredibly powerful attack, it costs 3 ATB, so it's only available when you do United Refocus. Uh, for that, that better be amazing for 3 ATB. Uh, let's see if there's any other thing I might want to get. There's an, the Enhanced Guard. Reduce damage by 5% while guarding. MP recovery rate up. Nope, I think I think we want Storm's Fury. It does unlock this amazing uh, ability right here. Precision Defense ATB. Which fills the ATB gauge after blocking with perfect timing. Which is quite good. Um, and also the Limit Break Devastation Level 3. Overwhelm the enemy with powerful ninjutsu. Looks awesome. But we'll get Storm's Fury. 
And I hope I have a United Refocus with her. I might not. I might have to get that on somebody. Let's see. Who, who might I have that with? Oh, I've got it with Barrett. Barrett might be the only one. Yeah, I think so. So, I'm only doing this ability with Barrett, apparently. Although, it might be on somebody else's tree. Alright, moving on to Tifa. She's got 35 SP. We could get Steadfast Concentration, activates Concentration after being revived. That's lame. We can get Trinity Strike for 20 SP. After activation, press Square with the correct timing to unleash three consecutive attacks. Uh, probably get that. There's a Moogle Dunk Shot with Kate Sith. Tifa swings Kate Sith's Moogle around and launches it at an enemy for a limit level increase. There's a United Refocus with Barret. There's a United Refocus with Kate Sith. Oh wait, why did I say Kate Sith? With, with Aerith, not Kate Sith. I don't know why, I thought it was Kate Sith. And there's Bestial Barrage with Red. And the United refocus with Yuffie, so we can get that there as well. Uh, but anyways, we'll go for the Trinity Strike, and it looks like Tifa could be our first level three limit break with Meteor Strikes. There's also enhanced the limit breaks for five percent more limit break damage, but meh. So her level three limit break is Meteor Strikes. Rain down a series of devastating blows, each with the force of a falling meteorite. Let's do it. We have a level three limit break. On Tifa, no less. She's amazing. All right, and then Cloud, we already spent his. All right, that's all of our SP spent. Well, hope you found what you needed. Okay, so with that, we are all done here. So thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.